Bellcraft K4, and your name is Wayne? I'm Wayne in 6 kr All right. So we're looking at a pile up on the K4 right now. Um, so this is our newest radio, and it, you can, one way to think of it is as a direct sampling radio, a modern direct sampling radio, and a super head in the same box. So you can go, you can use remote or regular um, direct sampling mode, or if you've got the super head module, you can switch to that if you're in a really high signal environment. So as you can see, we've got a nice big display. Um, we tried to use the display optimally so that it's, the radio is very easy to use. We've got three multifunction controls, each with a few functions. We've got uh, band, band stacking registers and other functions down here on the bottom. And then we have a large set of traditional controls, just like on a K4. What's the difference between the... Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> anybody who's used a K4... Um, this is for a bold deposit. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. because it's a direct sample radio... So basically what it is, the guys that put on the full deposit, they'll get the first runs that come out and they'll go right to the second. There's no limit to what we can do in terms of second. Okay, gotcha. And then everything's open game after that. Okay, it's the modular, so hardware's anything to upgrade in the future. And we have three models. And then uh, eventually, um, we'll be able to do dual pan adapters, dual text decode windows, uh, high resolution tuning aid that we call the mini pan. And we've got a new auto tuner with three antenna jacks. So um, it's come a long ways. We've come a long ways from the uh, from the K3. All right. Super. Boy, that's a beautiful radio. Thank you. Beautiful. And what's the price on this? The basic radio, direct sampling radio, is about four thousand, um, and then we have a, uh, uh, a diversity option, which uh, picks the price up a bit, and then we have a, an option below, behind that, for the superhead module. Okay. So you're, in, you're into the fives once you add the superhead module, okay. but it's still very cost effective um, compared to you know that competition and, and to the K3. Yeah. yeah. Right. And it's about uh, it's about four inches narrower than the combination of a K3 plus a P3. So it's a nice compact station. Everything's at your fingertips, so, um, including a built-in help system. So, you're still so and you can get help information oh, yeah, yeah. on the exactly like having to Really, the form of size it's about okay. a wash between. How about the operating remote? Yes, uh, remote is operation is uh, uh, there are standard some, feature there are some, of the K4. Uh, it has an Ethernet port. Uh, you can immediately connect it onto a, uh, onto a local area network and uh, access it from any other K4 or from a pad device or a computer. You can do, uh, so you can remote control from anywhere in the world. Is uh, remote control software, is that free or is it... Uh, and it all this stuff is very modular. You can and it will uh, iPad... So Mac. We don't have iOS yet, but yeah, we plan to do that. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be a nice radio. Uh, PC. Yes. And Linux. Yes. Basically, all the anything that can boot Linux. Yeah. yeah. Actually, there's there's a. And these are the new SP4 speakers. So uh, the new K line is made up of the SP4s and the KPA 1500, which is all they're all the same size. KPA 1500, uh, same size as the radio. Okay. Have a good day. And 12 volt power supply. Yes. Do okay. you have one? Or? It's over in the back. We do offer it. Yeah, we do. Like right here, there's just no airflow. I don't know what it is. Mm, let's see. How about uh, digital modes? Uh, so we have. Is it decode? We have some, yeah, we have some built-in modes. So it'll decode and display CW, uh, ESP31, ESP3, RTTY. Okay. And then in the future, we also add other built-in modes. Absolutely. And by running applications on our inbox and this does not come in a kit? Um, we're going to yeah. talk okay. to Scott. We hope to have a kit in each Okay. Uh, is this on the market now? Or is it? Oh, okay. We're That'd taking deposits now, and yeah. uh, we okay. hope to yeah, be shipping uh, uh, first, first batch by the end of the year. Uh, so by Christmas? He's the guy that makes those. Uh, 
Yeah, he's here. He's here. Okay. He's here. He's here. I'm the uh, proud owner of a KX2. <laughs> and I love Elecraft. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Thanks. <laughs> you were waiting for one of these to play. Right? Well.